Hey, my loves, welcome to another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment because I love to bump gums with you. Hope you enjoy. Hello, my loves. Welcome to the Give Them Lala podcast, the bonus episode, my most favorite episodes because we're, we're nice and self-deprecating, <laughs> you know? We're just not nice to each other. <laughs> Which we love sometimes. No, it's fun. It's cute. It's lighthearted. Um, I'm excited about the topic for today because the topic is best advice someone ever gave you. So good. I feel like I have, it's so good, Jess. I love that you put this one in the notes. I feel like I have a bunch. And Ethan, you and I may share a few. Yeah. But Let's hear um, it. do you want to go first? No, Easton? you go. You go. The advice that comes to mind is one that my very first high school boyfriend's mom told me. And we were going through a rough patch in high school. Okay. <laughs> oh, devastating. You and the man. Got right. It. Um, still to this day, the most productive and healthy relationship I've ever had. We had our little immature fights, um, but I remember his mom kind of intervening um, because our parents really liked us together, and this was a moment where his mom intervened, and I was sobbing, and I just said, you know, he's my other half, and she said, Lauren, when you come into a partnership, I want you to remember this for the rest of your life. It can never be 50-50. You have to be 100, and they have to be 100. It should always equal 200, never 100. Oh. Absolute genius. That yes. is, I like and that. And so true, so true. So that, and now when people come to me, especially people who are trying to get sober, and you know, there's like this rule in the program where it's like, do not date for a year, you know, get settled in. And so a lot of times they're, they want to do the transference of addiction where they want to find a person. And they go through like the drinking part being taken away where they're now very aware of what's going on and they talk about all of these things and I have to remind them the reason you're feeling this way is because you are not 100%. You don't get to date until you are 100%. Mm -hmm. Period. And I always like thought that that was the most, I don't know, that stuck with me and that was told to me when I was probably 17 years old. That's an amazing yeah, piece you can't, of advice. It's hard to love someone when you don't love yourself. No, absolutely not. Um, yep. So I dug that. Easton, what is yours? Mine is from... Mimi and Bob. Okay, our grandparents, yep. our mom's parents. This too shall pass. I love that too. What it be? Mm. Yeah. So you're on top of the world. This too shall pass. You're underneath the world. This too shall pass. You feel smart. <laughs> so on and so forth. Right. Everything I love will pass. That. So yeah. No because matter. you're feeling it's the you're feeling yourself one that I have to remember. Like yeah. oh, you think you're on top of the world yeah. right now? This too shall pass. It's gonna pass. Yeah. Don't gonna be feeling checked. yourself too much. Don't be too like your head's too big. No, no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And even when you're in the deepest and darkest hole, remember that you're going to be back on top. Yeah. So that's the I thing. love that. You have this that tattooed on your body, right? Mm -hmm. um, no. Oh, no, you have y'all be sweet now. Y'all be sweet now, but I do want this. That was the next one I wanted. Mm -hmm. He has y'all be sweet now because our grandmother, who was a Southern belle, we would... Fight Atlanta. and Easton was a biter. Yes, as a biter, and she would say, "Ooh, ooh, y'all be, be sweet now, <laughs> y'all be sweet <laughs> now." That's adorable. So a, yeah, toot on me. The car. Someone has stolen my car. <laughs> is, that, is that her? Yes. Yeah. Also, McDonald's drive-through. Know how there's like pay window one, pick up two. Yeah. Just speeds by one. <laughs> the, the guy's like, like oh, hey, <laughs> they're robbing us." <laughs> No, I loved her. And she had like the blonde bob with the really red lips, red lips really red long nails and like fair, black, fair skin. But black like, blazer, black blazer, shoulder pads, black cat eye glasses, gold Mercedes. <laughs> oh, this is the chicest woman yeah. I've ever heard of. Oh, she's so freaking chic. And her oh name was God. Mimi. Of course, she's Gigi's mom. Of course. Of course. But my mom <laughs> could not be further. <laughs> I was just about to say. My mom is Bob. Yeah. <laughs> Beyond. <laughs> My mom is Bob. No, Bob's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> so is Gigi. Oh. No, but that's a great one, Ethan. Yeah. And I do, I love when we talk about this because it's like when you are in the deepest, darkest days, remember that is not your forever. And when you're, you're on top of the world, you better enjoy and practice gratitude because that too does not last forever. Mm-hmm. 
Good one. This good one. I co sign. I co sign. That's, yeah. That's yeah. a good one. I have three <laughs> quick ones. Quick ones. My mom, she said, above all else, be kind to everyone. So I that just has stuck with me. We, and we've practiced that on the podcast, <laughs> Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My dad. Under promise, over deliver. Hey, I, 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 hey, that one's under a good promise, that's over a business. deliver. That's, that's a, business. a business. Yeah, and I do. Motto. I try and stick with that. I always think, you know what? Under promise, over deliver. Rec- and since I wrote these this morning, recently, this was just yesterday, actually. This is from Coach Josh in Jujitsu. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but it works for life. I use this in life all the time. He told me this at the very beginning. He said, when you try a move and it doesn't work... Don't look at it as a failure. Look at it as a setup for your next move. And it's very true in jujitsu, right? You go to try a move and it doesn't work. Well, you didn't fail. You shouldn't be like, ugh, shit. It's just a good setup for a next move. And I use it a lot in jujitsu and I use it a lot in life. When I try something and it fails, I'm just like, okay, but what other doors did this open? Right. And why did it fail? What do we need to like go back to the drawing board and figure out? Mm -hmm. You know, his words are wise and it makes me want to try anal again. (laughs) I'm just kidding. I'm going to shit my pants. I'm just kidding. (laughs) I'm totally kidding. And it makes me want to try. I thought she was going to say jujitsu. No. She said, and it makes me want to try anal. Jessica, I was down for jujitsu until you show up with a bruised nose looking a hot mess. And I'm like, my face? Absolutely not. It's all showbiz, baby. It's all jujitsu, baby. (laughs) Yeah, it ain't show business. All for the cause. cause? (laughs) It's all for the cause, dear. It's all for the cause. The body, obviously. And for her defending us in the streets of Los Angeles. We need you. Thank you. Keep taking those bruises. (laughs) Here's also some advice in business with punctuality. Oh, let's hear it. If you're early, you're on time. If you're You're, on time, you're you're late. late. If you're late, don't show up. (gasps) Who said that, Dorinda? I don't know, but the Virgo in me loves it. Oh, I like that. (laughs) The Virgo in me loves it. I love that. Yeah. Because my mom would be like, we're going to be late. It's fine. It's five minutes. I'm like, we might as well not even go. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of mom on that one. Yeah, fucking five minutes. My dad said there's nothing more disrespectful than disrespecting someone's time. Yeah, we talk about it all the time yeah. about David, uh, Larry David. Very yeah. quickly and then we'll move on. Okay. okay? <laughs> but I have to talk about this. What? Larry David in one of the episodes. The woman that he's living with, Vivica A. Fox's mother, is like, Larry, the next door neighbor, people are being robbed. And he goes, hold on, why are you talking to the neighbors? He's like, because people, the community is scared, Larry. We're being burglarized. And he goes, I don't care about this. She's like, you don't care that people are being, ro- that people are being robbed? And he goes, no, because the thieves want your things. The neighbors want my time. I'd rather <laughs> give, give things than time. <laughs> don't talk to the fucking neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> that is... So funny. It's, it's so good. If you don't watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, oh. what are you doing on this podcast? What are you doing? It is it's but a also podcast stay. about nothing. <laughs> Sign okay. Help. Um, but also welcome and we hope you stay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What did our friends say on you the You guys, gram? so much good advice. Little things, big things. I'm gonna start with your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. And how did you respond to that one? You I know, went? I really like this because that's how um it is with your tits. Yep. Which is like, thank God. Because when I was younger and they started growing in, I was like, oh, my God. But it's like. They're uneven. They're uneven. You guys. What? Danielle showed me a picture. Madison's sister. We used to live together. And we were wild. Wild. <laughs> she showed me a picture. And I don't know what we're doing. But we're topless in a pool. And uh-huh. so smiley. And I have a, two mangoes in my <laughs> I saw that picture. You did? Yeah. I said, hey, Danny, at some point, send me photos for, like, the podcast. <laughs> That's <laughs> and I was what like, she send said. me cute photos of you guys' as children. She sends me that photo and then a photo of an actual asshole. <laughs> was it yours? No. no it's someone. a joke. <laughs> Are she probably, Are you telling it to no, it? I, I want to say it was Google, but who knows? I'm sure. <laughs> but and I'm looking at our boobs, and the right on both of us is like so tiny and perky, <laughs> and the left one just has the slightest bit of a drop. <laughs> <laughs> so, and when I was looking at it, I was like, wow. Look at that. Interesting, but why am I holding two mangoes <laughs> <laughs> in a pool? <laughs> so happy to. <laughs> Tits <Drunk>. out. <laughs> It's so funny. It's like noon <laughs> on a Monday. And also, by the way, I remember thinking when I saw that, you hadn't had implants, right? Yeah, I had. 
Oh, I got implants. I was like, at- your boobs are big. Why did you ever get? Okay, you had had. Implants. I had implants. Okay, keeping composure bothers people way more than reacting to their drama. True. Well, true, but <laughs> <laughs> we don't do. That. We don't. Are you I'm joking? Hot headed over here. Well, I'm so hot headed. Short fused. Oh, well, because when people them. speak buffoonery, I I have to like. <sighs> I haven't conquered the art of being like, they are speaking buffoonery. Actually, I feel like at the reunion, I did a pretty good job of just like keeping and someone tried to be like, I know you're always, you always talk loud and yell the loudest. And I go, I haven't raised my voice. Not at once. I'm and dying to know. Andy goes, that. Andy goes, she hasn't. And I'm very proud of you for that. Because <laughs> usually when someone says one wrong thing, I'm up yeah mm. with the double finger guns. well we know from last reunion <laughs> and i've tried to Spin stop the around. double finger guns by the way uh, consciously yeah by doing this okay or this instead of this okay so it's more stomachable so it doesn't feel like i'm pointing at you but i'm still very Speaky. serious and that's on growth bitch <laughs> that's on growth <laughs> that's amazing i do this a lot which obama used to do and i notice i'm do i do this when i make points to kyle and i'm like am i the president Amazing. Good for you, Law. Oh, thanks. Good What's for you, too. <laughs> Are you comparing yourself to Barack no, Obama? No, you guys, that is my king. I will never. <laughs> I was about to say, maybe I can. I was like, we should probably, company. we should probably. No. Yeah, more maestro. 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 Not maestro. even that. Conductors are geniuses. I will do whatever it takes to keep the stress level as low as I possibly can in my life. And I'll tell you something that has really helped me lately Factor. Factor's delicious, ready to eat meals are always fresh, never frozen. They get delivered right to my front door, and they're ready to eat in just two minutes. I've also become a big fan of their add-ons. Snacks, smoothies, Ocean loves the pancakes. I get those and the mango smoothies in every single factor delivery because the mango smoothies are a fan favorite among Ocean and Easton. But Factor has you covered no matter how and what you're eating. Keto, calorie smart, protein plus, or vegan and veggie. The weekly menu has 35 options, including gourmet meals like filet mignon and shrimp. There's no prepping, cooking, or even cleaning up, which that part is the least amount of fun. You just heat it up, then eat it right out of the factor packaging. So easy. You can customize your weekly meals to get as much or as little as you need. And you can also pause and reschedule deliveries. So head to factormeals.com slash Lala50 and use code Lala50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next box. That's code Lala50 at factormeals.com slash Lala50 to get $50 off your first box plus 20% off the next box while your subscription is active. So I have two game changers to share with you when it comes to upping your glam game. I am totally obsessed with Impress No Glue Mannies and Impress Press On False Eyelashes because I'm very into just easy right now and anyone can do it. You are going to love them just as much as I do. Both require zero glue, so there is no damage to your natural nails and lashes. There's also no annoying dry time. And the best part, zero mess. One step and you're done. The lash style options are endless, and there are so many on-trend nails to choose from. Impress, no glue manis, and press-on falsies are the easiest and fastest way to upgrade your look in just minutes. The press-on falsies have a unique under-lash application for a totally seamless look and are made with an exclusive self-stick technology that keeps them secure for up to 24 hours. The Impress Manis have a patented super hold adhesive for up to seven days secure hold. And that's perfect for all of you busy mamas out there who don't have a lot of time to spend on glam but want to look your best. I completely get it. Impress No Glue Manis and Impress No Glue Press on Falsies are absolutely a beauty must. You need to try them right now. So get yours today at impressbeauty.com slash lala. And use code LALA at checkout for 25% off Impress Manicure and Press-On Falsies. That's impressbeauty.com slash LALA and use code LALA at checkout for 25% off. Okay, what's meant for you won't pass you by. Love it. Uh, Love it. Universe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You do agree with that or not? No, I feel like I was supposed to be an athlete. I was just 5'5", you know? (gasps) That means it wasn't meant to be. No, it was meant to be. (laughs) Who's you? Who's the tiny basketball player? He was on Space Jam. Bud Bugsy? Web, no. or uh, uh, Mugs? No. Are you talking about Bugs. the stuffed animal? No. <laughs> on Space Jam no. or What's an actual name? person? Bogey. 
the, the tiny, the small mugs, bo- mugsy, bogey mo- mugsy bogues. Do you know who we're mugsy talking about? Oh, I know exactly who you're talking mugsy about. Bogues. He had such a cute face. So face Muggsy Bogues, we have Nate Robinson. Yeah. We had Spud Webb. Okay, so we got tinies out there. Yeah, but they, here's the thing, but Easton. Drunk, I couldn't. You had, you, it wasn't just that you were small. You had an injury as well. Oh, so yeah. I forget uh, about that. Well, I don't. You keep saying I was so small. I'm like, that had nothing to do with it. It had to do with you had Maybe a knee in, injury. You could not play that is true. May, all right. No, that's not the meant only to be. truth. Not meant to be. Yeah. All right. I'm on board with not meant to be. Yeah. Gimmick. What if What if something really happened and you like couldn't walk anymore? Yeah. Well, that's okay. You know? I'm blessed. I'm and blessed. also, Easton, I feel like at the there. end of your life, we talked about this. You're gonna look back at your life and be like, oh, that's why. Where you are at the end of your life, you'll be like, that's, that's why, why all this happened. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, La, you've said this before. Do not take advice from anyone who is not where you would like to be. Ugh, never. Preach. When someone, like, tries to school me on life or tell me what I need to change about myself and I'm looking at them going, you have nothing that I want, like, Mm -hmm. I'm good on you. Thank you. Yeah. My mom always said, you work to live. You do not live to work. Balance your life. I feel like this nation, including me, needs to hear that. But I love work. Well, well, I should hope so. You live the fucking dream. I live the dream. Bernie See, Sanders is You get to be with me and Easton all the live long day. <laughs> did, you, did, exactly. did you guys know I'm that? I'm just kidding. No, I, what'd you say? Um, Bernie Sanders is introducing like a four day work week instead of. That so needs to happen. Hours My guy instead burned. of 40. Let me tell you I how agree. much more productive need, we'd be, guys. I mean, here's the thing. Half day on Friday, most people work anyway. It's like, how about we just take the whole damn day off? I'll get my work done yeah. Thursday. Give me Friday to go kick it with my family in two days. Two days to hang out. We need two Saturdays and a Sunday wind down. To recover. Yeah. You know, it's this, not enough yeah. time. This is based off of actual human social study, too. He's not just willy No, not things. willy. Yeah. Like, yeah. we, yeah. Yeah. Well, and also, like, so a I agree nine to with five that. We don't is, live a, to work. is a joke. If, if you're going to keep, excuse me, a five-day work week, you've got to cut down the time. Mm-hmm. Nine to five is absolutely ridiculous. Every single person I know hits that slump at, like, Three, three o'clock, mm-hmm. and then they are worthless. Yeah, the yeah. rest of the They're day. They're just collecting the hours. The rest. Yeah, exactly. Well, yes. That's how I felt. When, when I, I was used in to it. work in an office setting, after three o'clock, we had to stay until five. After three, everyone was in the break room on their oh, phones. Yeah. It was just wasting time. Mm-hmm. Well, that's because America has been like, if you are not miserable and so busy with not an ounce of free time, you're lazy and not working mm-hmm. hard yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah. And it's right. a lot. It's like, well. I kind of want to enjoy my life and people talking about saving money, saving money. It's like, well, how about for a moment you like maybe think about paying me more because I can't save if you're literally taking up all my time working at this fucking office yeah. for not even a lot of money and then you're screwing me with fucking bills. <laughs> yeah. My rent. Yeah. Mm. The amount of money some people are spending on rent. How do these people live? Because Wild. we can't buy a home. It's ridiculous. Because <laughs> exactly. that's the yeah. reason. No one can uh, get a home. You have to make so much money to even qualify for a mortgage at this point. No, you have it's to make like a, It's like, like $125,000 with no debt. Yeah. It's crazy. We live in a nation. Under the- God. <laughs> <laughs> Indivisible. With no with liberty, liberty and, and no, no justice, justice at all. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's good. Producer John had his hand over. His yeah, head. Oh, <laughs> that's what I did. Today. I, I fall in suit. I felt like I was in elementary school again. Oh, oh god. Okay, moving on. Um, confidence is quiet. Insecurity is loud. I could not agree with this more. Confidence is quiet. Insecurity is loud. I don't fully agree. Really? Uh, yeah, I feel like confidence. I'm very and, confident. Yeah, and I, I like am confident. shouting it from the rooftop. Like when hey. I. Go- but, Don't you think, like, by when the way, I, when I'm feeling insecure is when I get quiet because it's like I, I need to work through this. I need to, um, I need to conquer this. I don't like this feeling. Every time I Very, see somebody, okay. like, haven't you just seen somebody walking down the street? You see hundreds of people, but one person kind of, like catches your eye, and you're like, damn, that's confidence. Like, okay, do you agree? I hear that. Like, well, that's I'll not see loud. S- no, but I'm just they're saying, just like, walking. But that's but what I'm like, saying. I feel like confidence is pretty aura. loud. It's an aura. Yeah, I feel but like that's... it has to do maybe more with business because I do have to say, with you lot, there's so much you're working on behind the scenes that I think any a lot of other people I see, if they were in your place, it would be like. 
oh my god, guys, big things are like, oh, oh my god, big, big things coming. Big things coming. <laughs> Okay. Big things popping. Yeah, but I, you're just like quiet until it pops off. And I feel like I'm like that and you, no, you're that like that sense. too. You want to know I who else is that. like that is Stoss. That. Stoss yeah. does not, you find out about her stuff long, 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 long down the line when it's like come to fruition. Yeah, which I love. Never count your chickens before they hatch. Yep. Okay, this More is advice. a good one. More advice. More advice. You, you're not a tree. You can move. Move from situations, places, people, your body. Move. I'm going to use that as an insult. You're not a tree. Move. (laughs) (laughs) You don't don't want me here? Well, you're also not a tree. Move. (laughs) So good. That's so true. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to say, act like a tree and leave. Don't people say that? Yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to say, make like a street and fuck off, please. (laughs) (laughs) Just make no sense. (laughs) Make like a tree and go to hell. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's so funny. It's like similar to mom crossing her eyes and dotting her T's. What? Like just things that don't make sense. We should start doing that. So funny. You want to know who conquered that was Jax Taylor. What? Saying things that make zero sense. But did he think they made sense? Or was like, is that what is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. (laughs) All right, I like it. Hilarious. Fuck with it. Wow, we have a ton of um, follow your gut. It will never let you down. That's Hmm. true. Hmm, your mind I, will screw you, your heart will screw you, your gut will never steer you wrong. Yes. Is that a you quote? Yeah. There's I've, also a me quote that goes, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on you. <laughs> fool me three times, you are dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> no accountability in this fucker. <laughs> that is the funniest shit ever. Accountability? Where? Funny shit Easton, ever. <laughs> I, can I tell you when people are like, you know, you don't take accountability. These are people on the internet. I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> you can't tell me anything. You just didn't yeah. see it. You, you must have missed that episode. <laughs> Where you took the accountability? Yeah. You guys, I love this one because I disagree with it. You're Gigi. <laughs> Why does Gigi not? Accountability? Easton, Easton, I am not Gigi. Are you joking? You're not. You're not. not. I'll even take that a back. little bit. But Gigi... At any point, I mean, uh, yeah, name a story. We were supposed to go to Casita. She made oh, the reservation at the wrong, and she goes, Well, I told Jess. I was like, This is you. No, what it do wasn't you mean? Jess. No she one tried, did anything. No, did she tried to throw you under the, the pot. And then she goes, Tried to blame, and then, blame it on Candace. Okay. Yeah, no, oh, but Candace. you were there when she tried to blame the purse on me. She goes, It's not my purse. I go, It is your purse. You brought it. And she goes, Well, to what I mean game. is, it's not mine. Like, I don't own it. You, it's your bag. And I'm like, Well, you're yeah, all your shit right now. Are you joking? Accountability? <laughs> no. Casper the ghost in that one. Oh, that's funny. That it's is fine. funny. Let's Jeez. not show her this <clears throat> podcast. Okay. <laughs> She'll forget it. I have been very open with you guys about my hair struggles between pregnancy hormones, then bleaching it all the time. They really did a number on my hair. And then I'd also start stressing out about how those things did a number on my hair. And that did not help the situation. I have baby number two on the way, and I'm already being proactive with my hair thanks to Nutrafol. Nutrafol was recommended to me after I had Ocean, and by the way, it is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement with over 1 million people seeing thicker, stronger, faster growing hair with less shedding. And I am definitely one of those people. You can take the Nutrafol hair wellness quiz on Nutrafol.com for a personalized hair health plan based on your specific root causes, because I know we all have different hair journeys. I am aware of that. And Nutrafol makes building a hair growth routine so much easier. Purchase online, no prescription required. You get free shipping and automatic deliveries so that you never miss a day. And you'll see results in three to six months. So take the first step for visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering Give Them Lala listeners $10 off your first month subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter promo code LALA. Find out why over 4,500 healthcare professionals and hairstylists recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code LALA. That's Nutrafol.com, promo code LALA. I don't agree with this one, but I see it a lot. Okay. If they wanted to, they would. Do you guys agree? If no. we wanted to. If they wanted to, they would. I've always heard that in relationships. Like, oh, he's not calling you. Guess what? If he wanted to, he would. Move on. 
The reason I don't agree with that is because the amount of times that I've sat there being like, I want to text this person so badly, but I'm not going to and thought about reasons why I shouldn't. And I go into, well, if they wanted to talk to you, they could hit you up. And it's Mm -hmm. like. But they're probably going through the same thing (laughs) you are. Yeah, no, Mm -hmm. I agree with it, but I don't. But I think that's the biggest thing is like, I'm, I'm going to text them, but then I'm worried about what their response will be or how they feel and then I'm like "Eh, if they like me they'll text me yeah Yeah, I think the biggest thing is we're all out here being like we're worth fighting for and it's like right but we all feel that like what makes you so special that you get to do no work (laughs) right (laughs) because I'm me you know I gave this is a true story it's kind of sad I gave my friend that advice this is fucked up but I'll say (laughs) it we can cut it out if we want I said if he wanted to he would this was in uh, when I went to college in Rochester and he wasn't texting, and it was a bartender she met. And I'm like, ah, if he wanted to, he would. And I talked shit on him, and he had passed away. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did she, she met go to him the, the night before, and she found out a week later. That he she died. She saw it on Facebook. He died. So he uh, may have wanted to, <laughs> but he was dead. <laughs> That's so sad. Yeah. I, I felt bad for that. Um, Moving on to... Uh, <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if Marvin died. <laughs> <laughs> Twinkle toe? Yes. I don't know. Marvin, if you're out there, let us know you're okay. Dance, Please, for dance the your way God. into the comment section. For the love of God. Where'd you go? Twinkle toe. <laughs> I can't. That's one thing about this pregnancy as well, is I feel that it's k- given me even more truth serum. Mm. And it makes me feel bad. Maybe not, though, Does at it? all. Where I'm like, I have to be honest, I don't care. I get you, because with my anxiety... <laughs> I'm just, starting to just be like, you know what? That's kind of giving me anxiety. I don't fucking care anymore. Yeah, like mom was talking care. to me about something and I said, mom, I got to be honest. I don't care about this. <laughs> We've got to move on. Okay. I'm so, did I did that. Uh, no, she was like, oh, okay. And I was like, yeah. All right. Anyway. I it love that feeling. Kyle can do that and I can't say that. <laughs> Neither Kyle, can I. And then I, I so, deal with the anxiety. I, or I sit there and I'm like, when is this fucking going to end? And Kyle will be like. Hey, is this going to end soon? And not just to me. He'll say to other people, hey, I'm not very interested in this. Is this almost <laughs> over? <laughs> I need to just take life lessons from Kyle. Yeah. He seems like he's just He's just really... straight up. Or he'll go, hey, I'm not going to come to that dinner. Why? I don't want to. Oh. I okay. need to start. Hey, I'm going to start yeah. being more of yeah. who I want to be you to everyone. You need to everyone. be like Larry more David. More of an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's who I really want to be, but I want to make people so happy all the time. He that makes like, me happy. Just, Larry David makes me so and happy. And I'm just going to yeah. start saying, fuck your plans. <laughs> fuck I, you. I'm staying home. But you can't say the F word. You just have to be like, I don't I don't care about this. No, I'm just say speaking from It has nothing a, to do with you. I just personally don't I'm want to I'm speaking from there. emotion right now, but yes, no, I'm going to say you're... It sounds beautiful. I won't make it. I won't be there. And tomorrow I may want to be there, and I could feel like I missed out. But today, like, I don't... I, I just like, don't care. See, yeah. that's the thing. I like di- I like plans on the day because mm-hmm. I'll make a plan tomorrow, and then tomorrow I won't want to do it. Yeah, brutal but true. Stop feeling bad for yourself. You're not the victim. Some people are the victims, though, and and my heart's go out to them. But I get. Agreed. I would rather have that say you're not that special. Your people don't care about you that much. <laughs> you yeah. are not the. Here's the thing: we're all the main characters in, in our, our own lives. lives. Yeah. No one gives a shit about anybody else about yes. them, but themselves. Yeah. No one That's cares that much. Right? You're not that special. I know it's hurtful yeah. to hear. Right? No one gives a fuck. Oh, which it is really what, gives me it anxiety like when against, people love to talk about themselves. No, too, but it goes man, against I fucking care less. It goes against everything that we say to teach your kids, like build them up, make them feel. But that's why it's for the outside world. You are a special person out there, though. You're not. You're just one in the same. Yeah. That's why you have to feel okay and good with yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's who you die with. That's who you're left oh. with. You'll never be able to leave yourself until you've passed away. Oh, and God. Then, and then, yes. I will say, though, I looked at mom this weekend and was like, do you ever get really sick of yourself? I go, I'm ready to hang oh. this face, this body, this personality at the fucking door. Oh, okay. I just want to be yeah. of myself. I want to hear myself talk. Yeah. Mm, I hate hearing myself. I look myself in the mirror. If you had a body, you go to St. George, take down all the mirrors, no phones. Oh. three days. <laughs> well, Palm Springs. If you or had that, a body uh, that matched your soul, do you think you'd look the way you do? I think I'd be more beautiful. I think about that sometimes. Not about <laughs> you. About <myself. laughs> yeah, no. She's not the main character in your Wait, story. Wait, if you had a body, body that matched a face and body that matched, matched your, your soul. soul, 
Have you ever seen Shallow Hal? Yes, I love that movie. Mm. Do you think you'd look the way you do? I think I'd, I'd be think more I'd beautiful. Look the way I do. No, I think I'd be more beautiful. You would. I have a beautiful soul. You would. Yeah. And this you... jawline does not do it justice. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah. I feel that way. Thank you. Do you think that way of you? I do. I mm-hmm. think you're already I think it beautiful. Matches but you're... My... Yeah. No, but like, I would be a little bit. Uh, no. no, it matches. Who it you... matches. If I were a better person, I would you, have here's really, thing. really cute feet, more petite hands, smaller, more slicked back ears, and a really good jawline. And well, that then... would match your soul. Yeah, I love that. I think I'd be a Furby, so I think I lucked out with this body. Because if, <laughs> if I had a body and face that matched my soul, I'd be like. A smiling Furby or like a potato with a giant oh, smile. Oh, well, maybe something. I'd be like a panda bear then. Yeah. Aww. That's how I feel I am. Well, you guys, are we, are we animals now? I don't know. I She's know. bringing up do? Furbies and shit. <laughs> so I'm thinking, all right, we're going. That's the best. Because I'd for sure be an orca. On March 5th, National Geographic captured an orca killing a great white shark. <gasps> and I saw as that. I watched it, I was like, that's me. We are orcas. We are an orca pod. That was a bad bitch orca. Freaking slammed it. Bam! And then with the mouth. With, oh yeah, it knocked it out first and then it towed it up. Good for that orca. It was. I wonder why though. I hope that wasn't bullying. Are you joking? This is called survival. This is called survival Mother of the nature. sea. This is called nature. This is called the circle of life. Yeah. They're hungry. Oh, you think they were eating it? Yeah, yeah. they eat their liver. Damn, I did not know that. Yeah, didn't you see all those sharks washed up along the beach and they had perfectly almost like uh, medical, it looked like medical uh, incisions. incisions. That they, and they were all in the same place. From yeah, whales. They, yeah, from they an don't, orca. Yeah, they don't eat the whole body. They, wow. Right? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You just sounded like Jennifer Coolidge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Okay, um, this is a good one. Oh, there's two good ones. Okay, I'm going to say this one, though. You are not obligated to love your family. Some of them might not be your people. 100% agree. Easton, I think we need to have a talk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, I felt I agree. It. Because guess what? Some of us are born into horrific circumstances, and I couldn't, I can't relate, but... Mm. um. You, guess what? That's not your family. Goodbye. That's not your family. You have, hopefully you can find family that you do love and that's your family. I agree. Mm -hmm. What's the other one that you were going to say was really good? Create your own happiness. That's a big, that's a hard. A lot of people might be able to do that with a four day week or (laughs) four day week. He's really, he's, is this, Bernie, is that you in an Easton suit? Maybe. On the Give Them All a podcast, <laughs> really trying to push it. No, I love the idea. Just coming from like working a, a nine to five, Monday through Friday. It's like, you know yeah. what? I got everything done. Friday was a fuck off day anyway. Yeah. So it's like, you know what? Let's just do it. Create your own happiness. And then on Friday, everybody could create their happiness. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Speaking of whatever you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> ADD got her. That I wasn't listening to because <laughs> I have ADD. Um, Stassi did Ocean's Human Design. Uh-huh. And she said that Ocean, it says about Ocean, she creates her version of heaven on earth every day. That is the most beautiful. I would get that framed. How cute is that? That That's is very cute. so cute. And she 100% does. Oh, I yeah. <gasps> She's heaven so cute earth. right now. She's the best. And she has a little sing-song voice where, like, I got in the car last night and she goes, I love you so much, Mom. <laughs> where, you, where you go, Mom? Where you at? She is... I love you too, Mom. Oh. Is she... It freaking kills me. She's an angel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She was real excited to pick up Mama and Gigi from the airport. With you? Was she with you? Yeah, I drove and picked them up. Uh, yeah, it was, was really late, but that wasn't what it was supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, that was a really fun podcast. You guys, thank you so much for listening to another bonus episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Remember that the audio and video drop same day every Monday. You can catch us on Give Them Lala pod on Instagram and also uh, Give Them Lala podcast on YouTube. Love you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching another episode of the Give Them Lala podcast. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Did I get all three? I'm getting really good at that.